All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I have a quick tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be teaching how to make the best transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve for 100% free. I made tutorials previously on how to use Blurmo curves, but that actually does require plugins. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the built in features of DaVinci Resolve, how you can actually make these transitions and replicate them without all the hassle of downloading extra plugins. With that being said, the links will be down below in the description. So make sure to check out the downloads for that. Hope you guys do enjoy and I will see you guys on my PC. All right, guys. So all we got to do is just open a new project. Once we have DaVinci Res launched, I'm just going to name it transitions free, for example, and I didn't end up creating it. I'll just do I'll just title it trans create. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to go directly to our edit tab. Like we normally do file project settings. And then we'll do 60 and 60 just make sure it's on 1080p from there all we're gonna do is we can literally just get any two clips so it doesn't really matter i'm going to just get two clips for example it can be any two clips drag them right here all right so once we have two clips in right here i'm just gonna adjust it just like this we're actually just going to drag in an adjustment clip above it trim it down on the right side right here and then what we're gonna do is we are actually just going to go inside of the adjustment clip while having just our selector selected so just select the adjustment clip and right here is actually the middle frame we can see this by going between the two we want to make sure that we're on this frame right here press control space on your keyboard and look up transform we're actually going to add this in right here drag it in just like this move our spline to the side and then from there what we're going to do is we're gonna keyframe this middle value at 1.6 and then we'll go one frame back and we'll actually keyframe this at something like 0.7, which will be a zoom out transition. Then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 frames back. Change this to one. And then we'll do that on the other side. Go one, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And change this to one. And then we'll make sure that we have our edges set to mirror. What that'll do is it'll do a nice little zoom out and it looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, once we graph it, it'll look super good. And that's what we have spline for. So make sure you can just open up spline by clicking up here, press these little arrows right here. And we can see a graph similar to our Blurmo curves graph that I've shown in other tutorials. So we're just going to press control a after select. You can literally just click on the gray space, control a press S. And what that'll do is it'll kind of ease all these. And you're just going to want to copy this graph that I do right here and do something that looks just like this and we'll press play and that should do something just like this but what we want to do is kind of make it maybe a bit more sharp that does a nice little zoom out transition and if we wanted to we could bring a value like this for example down a tiny bit correct the graph just so it kind of matches just like that that's a nice little zoom out transition and then if we want to we just invert the value so we can do i think this one's like 1.34 so we can change this to like 1.4 and change this one to 0.7 so the complete opposite of what we just did and then we'll just need to fix the graph to actually line up with it and bring that one down just like this and what that'll do is it'll sorry this one goes down a bit so we got to make sure that it stays above the axis that one's just a zoom zoom in transition that one's super clean and then if we wanted to do something like a position transition i'm actually just going to remove all these keyframes right here just like this if we want to do a positioning transition let's find the frame in the middle again so for example it's going to be this one so if we wanted to actually do this we would change the center to something like i don't know i think 0.9 should be good something like 0.9 right here for the x value and then we'll go one frame back and we'll change this to negative 0.9 which will bring it to the other side and then what we'll do is we'll go uh 20 frames back so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 change this value to 0.5 which is the default value and then we will go 20 frames after which is right here change this one to 0.5 just right here then we'll go into spline we'll edit this right here and press s and then just do something like this edit this graph to look like that and then this one we're going to want to have up and then this one we just got to zoom in on this one right here and bring this one across and what that'll do is it'll do a nice little swipe transition just like that and that looks perfect and if we wanted to we could invert the values just so it does that 
and then that looks super good it just looks like it comes in super seamless and you can't really tell the differential between these two frames and yeah that is pretty much that that's how you do a position transition if you wanted to do it you just do the same with the y value something like 0.9 on the y value keep this at the default and then you would just flip it once it actually goes to the middle frame and then same thing with rotation you would just keyframe angle to 90 in the middle right here and then do negative 90 and then go back to zero and zero on both sides as the default value but i hope you guys did enjoy this video it, it was just a bit of a short tutorial pretty basic on how you could actually implement transitions for 100 free if you don't have sapphire plugins for example you're just getting started to editing and you don't have access to these plugins you can't download them or purchase them but i hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe if you want to see more future tutorials make sure to give me some ideas down below hope you guys enjoy though like comment subscribe see you guys later peace out